We are back with episode 3 of ATA Untold Memories, where we delve into the Assassin's Creed cut, early or alternative content that never saw the light of day. Today we're going to have a look at two main pieces of unreleased content that is an unused model for Sean Hastings in Assassin's Creed 2, shared by his leader V2, and an early version of Minerva's potential future from Assassin's Creed 3's ending, and how that changed through the development of the game that was recently shared by Kuriatsu. So no time to waste and let's dive into episode 3 of ATA Untold Memories. And we start with something quite unusual that is an unused 3D model for Sean Hastings, the beloved modern day assassin historian that has appeared over so many games throughout the years. Sean had so many different 3D models over the years already within the official retail versions of the various games, but recently Slither V2 was able to unearth and share an unused 3D model of Sean from Assassin's Creed 2, that is the game where Sean appeared for the first time in the franchise and it's a model that is much more similar to the original concept art for Sean than the final in-game version is. In a way, it looks like this might have been a version of how Sean was planned to be in the game, maybe before Danny Wallace was chosen to be the voice actor for the character, and when that happened, it's likely that Sean's model was designed or changed based on Wallace's likeness. Nonetheless, this did not stop Slither V2 from applying this 3D model in Assassin's Creed 2 while keeping Danny Wallace's voice, and this is the result. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. How'd you get mixed up in all this? Most assassins, Desmond, are like you, yeah? They're born into the Brotherhood. Not me, though. Ah, oh, here we go. What? He asked. Anyway, I've always been a big fan of the unexplained. There's something exciting there, you know? A sense that life is more interesting, more mysterious than we've been raised to believe. So what, you just stumbled across the assassins? No. I found the Templars first, actually. What could Sixteen have found that needs so much secrecy and security? Well, I don't know, do I? Lucy thinks it's something about the Codex, but I'm not so sure. I'm all ears if it's as life-changing as Sixteen says. Blimey, if I was allowed to use the Animus, I'd be the one in there finding out. Instead, as usual, I'm forced to sit here on the sidelines. And finally we have something so very interesting to me because it's about the ending of Assassin's Creed 3. More specifically, Kuriatsu recently shared a Twitter thread and a few videos where she showed various different early and sometimes pretty different versions of the potential future that Juno showed Desmond Miles at the end of the game in case he chose to allow the second disaster to happen, which would have erased almost all life on Earth. Now, in case you don't remember, at the end of Assassin's Creed 3, Desmond met the holograms of the Isu Minerva and Juno, and as the solar flare was about to hit the Earth, very much as it did during the Isu era, he was faced with a dilemma. Sacrifice himself and activate the global Aurora Borealis device to absorb the power of the solar flare, but with the downside of freeing Juno upon the Earth, that was Juno's solution, obviously, or allow for things to happen as they were bound to be, with the solar flare hitting the earth and wiping almost all human life on earth, then re-emerged from the Grand Temple as a new leader for humanity. That was Minerva's idea and it is this part which was shown through a cutscene commented by Juno that Kuriasu was able to find in two earlier versions which we can compare with the original AC3 and AC3 remastered retail versions. Let's have a look. spent planning, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again, just as Minerva and her kind once did, and you see what came of that. You will become a symbol to those who survive, hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more, and as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man with only decades left to live. 
You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them perverted into something wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life used instead to excuse taking it. And so now you see that what befell Minerva and her kind will be repeated. There is no salvation in that direction, only another cycle of the same. So tell me, how is this better? the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the skies. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world, merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? And these are just two of many other pieces of cut or early content about the various Assassin's Creed games that we are exploring here on ATA Untold Memories, trying to unearth all the big or little details that were left out of the games, such as the various information about cancelled project Assassin's Creed Lost Legacy that eventually turned into Assassin's Creed Revelations, and the three cut codex entries from Altair's final days, all of which we recently shared and discussed in a dedicated video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.